Yeah, let's let's take a look at some historic pans from Mont Blanc, starting with something about 1937 to 1961 or 62. This is the early Mont Blanc 134, still with the applied patent applied for inscription patent angemeldet of Deutsch uh, with a typical clip of the 30s and a steel nib. The next pen is another 134 but already with the three bands which we see in these two other pens. This one has a gold nib and we come to this later. This is one of these wonderful elastic pens, pen nibs. The next one is the design of 1949, with big, starting with this year. Mont Blanc made this pen in this typical cigar-like shape. You have to wait a bit for this to ride well. And this is a rare transitional model. This is another 144. The same pen as this one, but already in a more 60s style. This one too has a nice elastic nib. And this one led to this design. Some people say it was designed this pen by Graf Götz, the one famous for his Studebaker designs and he designed some BMW cars too. This is the, the last pen in this line and uh, by popular demand, Mont Blanc later returned to its own design of 1949. Oh, the old 134 patent applied for. We can see these pens, and it doesn't de depend on if this pen is has a gold nib or a steel nib. If the, this is a medium nib, but you can see it reacts to the pressure. And now a broad nib of a pen. This is another 134 of a newer design, so, sometime of the 40s, with a extremely Oh, flexible nib. And we continue to the next model, to the 144. And it's the same with all these old pens, they have wonderful elastic pen nibs. Another one, this newer model, the transition, transitional model of 144 and oh, oh, this is, this is always a problem if you didn't write for some time with the pen that it doesn't that that you don't have a continuous ink flow and if you this 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 is still a a pen nib this is this is a medium nib and still a bit elastic let's look at a few few words written written with 
first with this pen. Now we continue with the wonderful elastic pen. We take this hundred forty four. This one is called a uh, number 14. But as you can see, this pen is the one which reacts best to the pressure now without any no now with a lot of pressure and now without any medium as you can see it's a real joy to ride with a pen that has a flexible nib and as you can see, if it is written a little bit, you don't have this problem that it doesn't, that the ink flow doesn't follow the writing. Another, a few more letters with this, 144 of the of the early 60s. I think this was only, actually only was made for for one year. And compare this to a modern pen see no variation of the of the line and again this hundred So, you can see it's a real joy to ride with these old pens and in this case we have one from 1937, maybe 1940, 1949, 1900. 60 and 1961.